and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Monday and this is our wardrobe building day. So today I have jumpsuits planned for you guys. So if you're interested in what I want to share with you guys about jumpsuits, just keep watching. Okay guys, so in this installment, it's all about jumpsuits. What I've done for you guys today is I went through my wardrobe and I picked a couple jumpsuits that were my favorites um, that I could share with you guys to give you guys a little bit of an idea. And then I also have two recent purchases of um, jumpsuits that I'm gonna share with you guys because I think those you'll be able to get your hands on. And then I just added one other one that I think that I may be able to find something similar, okay? So we're gonna jump right in. Jumpsuits, um, to me, and this is how I add them into my wardrobe as I'm building, you know, the basics wardrobe. And we have went over bottoms and tops and dresses, you know, we've done quite a few things. And so these are some of the trend pieces that I'm talking about. Now to me, a jumpsuit is a staple. It's almost like having a long dress. It's like something that is very necessary for me and my wardrobe. Um, when I'm feeling tired and I don't feel like matching a top with a bottom or trying to get the perfect silhouette or whatever, jumpsuits are just easy. They're the easiest, quickest thing that I know to go to. Um, I wear them more, believe it or not, in the fall and in the summer and spring than I do in the winter. In the winter time, I'm putting on a bunch of layers so I don't do it. So the ones that I'm going to show you are ones that I actually wear in this, that I got for the spring and for the summer, okay? So the first one is actually not a new one. It is an older one, but it's in that, I call it clay. It reminds me of like clay, like red dirt um, down south. And it's one of those wide leg, just really comfy knit um, jumps, jumpsuits with the sleeves out. And it's actually from Charlotte Russe and it's in their straight size and an extra large. And I wanna say I paid like $24 for it. So they are available um, in, in the lower price range. You don't have to go all out. And like I said, I very rarely spend a lot on clothing, especially trend clothing, um, because I'm in it one minute and out the next. So this is a really great piece. And you guys will get to see how I stalled this, how I, how I st styled this. I can't talk, y'all. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I'm trying to do this on my lunch break really quick. But you will see, you know, how I styled this. Um, I will show you guys that. So, I mean, trying it on is great, but you guys don't get to really see how I wear it <coughs> unless I put it in an outfit of the day. So I think I figured out a little way to be able to show you like some of the outfits without doing a quote unquote lookbook because I'm not, my editing skills ain't there baby yet. It's just a huge area of opportunity for me and I need lots of improvement in that area when it comes to editing. But my husband and I are gonna try a little something so that you guys can see how I style these out, okay? So that is a great one I think, you know, for festivals and concerts and all those kind of things. This kind of material keeps you nice and cool and it's breathable. Although it wrinkles like shit, <laughs> It still is a nice, comfortable, flowy fit. I have really big thighs, like I told you guys, so I look for things that have the wider legs because that is the best silhouette for me. You need to find whatever silhouette that works really great on you and invest in a couple of jumpsuits. Now, I'm not someone who wears sleeveless, so you guys will get to see how I style this out. Um, like I said, don't, if you're like 14, 16, 18, 20, around there, don't assume that just because it's in the straight line that it's not going to fit you. You really have to know your body, your shape, and your measurements. And you'll be surprised what you can find out of the straight line. Because I'm forever, you know, going over to the straight line and trying things. And even when I'm smaller, when I was smaller, some of the things that I had when I was smaller are still kind of fitting me right now. Um, just because, you know, I already have them. So I, I'm like, it's worth a shot for me to put it on and try it. Okay? So the next one is something that I got that I love. I love denim. I love the all over denim look trend. Um, and it's for those days when you don't really feel like putting on a denim shirt and a pair of denim jeans. And this is really thin, 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 thin. It's almost like chambray. It's so thin. So this is nice and cool and comfortable 
for um, the summer and the spring when it's warm out. It has back pockets, it has front pockets, it has the elastic band here, and then it's kind of like the jogger at the bottom. So this is a really great way to, that you, something that you can dress up, you can make it dressy, you can make it casual, you can take it into sport looks. This piece right here, I can style it, in, in my mind right now, I can already put it on make at least three or four different ways. So pieces like this, I think are really necessary. And this looks good against tan, brown, black. I mean, I could put this with a lot of things. And I got it for 50% off, so I only paid 30 for it because it's ticketed price at $59.50. And this is actually from Ashley Stewart, guys. So I will try my hardest to um, find it and link it for you guys below. Um, and I, I really love this. I actually have one that is from Gap, but it's a little bit heavier material. And so when I saw one, that was thin I mean like super thin so I can wear it on days when it's like you know over 70 degrees and still be cool and comfortable I can just roll up the sleeves pop the collar you know what I mean and it, it'll still work um, look for thin pieces like this and this is a hundred percent cotton um, but it's it's like a thinly woven cotton it's not heavy as your true denim is it's very 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 thin um, the flip side of that is that it'll wrinkle fast but you know what I mean we can steam it and then hopefully throughout the day we won't look like we slept in it, okay? And so the next piece is, and this one I love, this is that um, matte jersey material and it's in, it has a mock neck and it has the belt and it's long flare leg and this one is actually from Ralph Lauren and I actually got it at TJ Maxx for $59.99. But when I was in Macy's the other day, I still saw it in there. And it's ticketed at $155, but I think Macy's had it for like 25% off. So I will see if it's still, if it's available on the website and try to link it for you guys. This right here is like one of my favorites. Um, I think a black jumpsuit, you guys already know. You can make it dressy. You can make it casual. Um, this is something that I could actually wear to work with just a topper on top and casual shoes. Um, when I want to wear things to work that I think are really... Um, more evening apparel things, what I do is put on less accessories. So I won't put necessarily a necklace and a bracelet. I'll, I'll, I'll totally take it down and mute it as, as, I'll mute it as much as possible so that it'll look more casual, like I just effortless, like I just threw it on. Um, and then when I want to go for evening, I'll hype up the accessories a little bit more. I'll put, you know, a little bit more pizzazz in it, a little bit more, um, pieces to go with it to give it a more of an evening look. You know, I'll change it out to an evening shoe or whatever. Um, but pieces like this, I think mock neck ones, they're very slenderizing. Um, and anything that has that long drapey leg will actually slender, you know, will make you look much slender and will lengthen you. So I love jumpsuits for that reason because they do lengthen you. And if you have the ones that have a waist in it, you're able to manipulate where the waist goes. So you're able to actually place it where you want it to place it and belt it so that you can give yourself an hourglass, you know, in, in the way that you feel it should be. Because some people have a longer torso. Some people, you know, have, you know, the flip side of that. So you're able to actually give yourself a shape in these kind of um, jumpsuits. And that is another reason why I love them. Aside from the fact, like I said, they're simple like a dress. You don't have to worry about mix and matching pieces. Um, and they work well. Again, like I'll say, <laughs> when you're buying these kinds of trends, if you're not comfortable with them, guys, Again, stick with neutrals and you'll be able to keep it in your wardrobe. Like this one right here, I'll be able to have in my wardrobe for a very long time. I actually got it in an extra large. So even when I go down in size, I may even have to nip and tuck it just a tiny bit. But this is something that I plan on keeping, you know. And it has the back zip, but it's not exposed. So it is enclosed in. And this matte jersey material is actually very cool. It's not, um, it's not heavy or anything like that. It's not too hot. So this is something that I could again wear to festivals out at night or out to dinner or out dancing. And through the work week, I can actually wear it, you know, to work. I can put a blazer over it or a duster, um, espadrilles or however I choose, you know, to wear it um, to make it a little, a little bit more cash. So that is what I have for you guys today about jumps. Um, I know I missed you guys last week. I, who was I doing last week? I had a bunch of work to do and plus I wanted to really start working on organizing my house because my closet looked like uh, the end of the world. It was horrible, it was horrible. I had so many different sizes and so many different things that I was like holding on to that I really needed to let go. So I got a chance to donate a lot of those to the church. 
Um, and so that felt really good to get those things out of my closet. I still have a ways to go of sizes. You know, I'm, I'm talking myself through it like, Max, let it go. It's just a piece of clothing. You can replace it. And, I, and I'm doing that. Um, even though I know I'm on a weight loss journey, I think part of the reward will be that I'll get to buy some new things um, as I've been doing. Like I said, I'm not one of those people that will dress horrible until I lose the weight. I am going to look nice at 550 pounds, and I'm going to look nice at 150 pounds. It does not make me any difference. I will take the time and spend the money and the effort to make myself look good at whatever size I am. I will celebrate whatever size I am. Even though I'm not where I want to be, I'm just not one of those people that believe that I should wait you know, to enjoy myself until I lose the weight. And I tell people that all the time. They're like, why are you wasting your money? Hell no, I'm not wasting my money because I'm enjoying the clothes right now. I'm enjoying looking nice in them. Um, whether they're going to be there, you know, next year or the year after that, who knows? But for right now, I'm not wasting my money because I got to wear them and I'm enjoying them. Um, I never buy things with the assumption or clothing, I should say, that I'm going to have them in 50 years, you know, unless it's a huge investment piece. Um, but for the most part, my investment pieces, and you guys know, are my accessories. Because I tell everybody all the time, honey, it doesn't matter how much weight I gain. My sunglasses is going to fit. My earrings are going to fit. And my handbags are going to fit. So, you know, that's just pretty much how I do things. Um, what else? So, I know I have some catching up to do with you guys. What I've done now with the hauling is as I'm adding things to my wardrobe, I am actually mixing it into the trends because that's kind of what I already have all my basics so everything that I purchased has been trends and I don't want to sit up here with just a bag of clothes and just say look at what I got I want to show you guys how I wear them and how I put them together and I think I've gotten savvy enough where I can edit just barely good enough for that you guys are able to see the whole ensemble so I'm gonna work on making sure I get that done for you guys and um, I know I'm behind on Beauty Wednesday, but you guys, I really haven't added much except for some perfume and the few Chanel pieces. Um, everything else is pretty much the same routine that I've been doing with makeup. And I have just really been going to my favorites. I have been just, and you guys see when I tell you the lipstick of the day. And I've been playing a little bit with eyeshadow color. I think last week I played a little bit with some blues and things like that. And we'll get back to Beauty Wednesday. I know I have neglected Beauty Wednesday. I know there's people wanting perfume to know about different perfumes and things like that. But guys, I have been super lazy when it comes to beauty things. Some of those perfumes I haven't even opened that my husband has gotten me. I've just pretty much have like a couple of different scents that I really love. And those are the ones that I'm really just using. Um, so I will get back onto that and... I still have that sunglass um, review to do, so I will. I'll make sure I do that this week. The sun, because now is the season for them. So, um, you know, if you're interested in sunglasses, I am drinking my water. I don't know if I, I did show you guys this, this little um, BKR little uh, water bottle is is so chic. It's so chic. I have been carrying this everywhere I go because this is the way that I, you know, get my water in. And it keeps the water nice and cold. And I, I love it. I think it's so pretty with a little silicone. And everybody's like, that's a cool water bottle. And this is actually, um, I picked up one for probably everybody in my family. I love these. I love these. They are a little pricey. But to me, it just makes drinking water a little bit more stylish. Um, that is everything I have for you guys. So, oh, stay tuned to the end of the video because I do have an outfit of the day for you guys. So, okay, guys, I am here with a really quick outfit of um, the day. I'm doing this on my lunch break, so we're going to do this really fast. Um, for accessories, um, I went really minor today. Um, it's a really warm day here in Detroit, so I'm not going to do, you know, anything really heavy. I just kind of threw on some things, so I'm not even wearing a watch. I'm just wearing a leather cuff from Henry Bindle and Chanel earrings. And for sunglasses, I'm carrying the... Versace ones that I showed you guys and then what's on my lips is the Too Faced melted chocolate um, in chocolate milkshake and um, for a handbag I'm just carrying my Louis Vuitton Alma BB um, I have on a lace bralette and just a sheer shirt from Gap and then the faux leather skirt from Torrit and then those same coach um, wedges the leather wedges that I hauled with you guys I will step back so you guys can have a look. And um, for reference, I wear black in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in the winter, I wear it all year round. What I do is just mix the fabrics. Um, 
I like black. It's just something I like. I do wear other colors, but like I said, most of my wardrobe is, is in black and neutral color. So I do wear, and it is a warm day today. I mean, like it's in the 70s and I'm fine. I wasn't too hot or anything. So I will step back so you guys can have a look. It is a really um, casual day for me today. Um, but you know, I kind of dress casual all the time. So like I said, let me step back so you guys can take a look at what the outfit of the day is. is the look or oh, ran into the machine. So this is the look of the day and that is everything. This is a really comfortable fitting skirt too for um, people that were interested in getting it. It has a lot of stretch in it, a lot of stretch in it. And I don't think I'll be able, I'll be able to link the bralette I know in this, but the top is old. This is from my old life when I was smaller and I happened to be able to woes into it today. So I made it work. <laughs> But um, everything else that I can link, I will link, all right? So I will holler at you guys tomorrow.